Have you ever wondered how you can get your first paying customer really fast? Well, guess what? Today, that's exactly what I'm going to share with you, how you can get your first paying customer in five easy steps. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson. I'm a former teacher and I really like teaching, but to tell you the truth, I wasn't called to do that any longer. So what I did, I started coaching and I help entrepreneurs, course creators, and coaches make more money in their business while doing it on less time. So how cool is that? So I want to share with you, because when I first started coaching, I, I had left teaching. And it was just like, oh, it was kind of scary. What the heck am I going to do? How is this going to work? I don't know how to get this. But here's what I did and what I helped many of my students and clients do. One is you have to get specific in your target market. Any of their lives, you know, what are what's going on in the world right now? What's bothering them right now? And, and there's tons of different coaches, transformation coaches, life coaches, health coaches, business coaches. It's the same thing. The world, there's always different things going on. So you need to get inside there and try to figure out what is going on now in your target market and your niche. All right. I'm not going to talk a lot about that, but if you get real general, Right, so if you're a health coach and you want to help everybody with their health, it, that's going to be tough. But if you get down and say, hey, I want to help you, I'm going to coach you how to lose weight, how to lose the first five pounds in a week or the first 10 pounds in 15 days, something like that, that gets more specific. Does that make sense? Okay, number two, you need to use social media groups. And maybe not just groups, but you need to learn how to use social media, but, and I use groups exclusively. And I, I'm going to tell you what I do with that. See, I'll go into groups that are in my area, my niche, my target market. And I do two things. One, I go in and I, I make comments. I reply to comments. You know, there's a lot of questions in there by people and I'll reply to them. And I try to reply a little differently than anybody else does. Right. I, I really try to solve a problem. I try to coach them a little bit. And then what I'll also do, I'll go in groups and I put value posts in. I mean, I'm trying to teach now that I know I get it, I get it. If you're like me, you're going, oh, what the heck do I do about, how do I teach if I don't know anything? You do know things. You just got to get past that and go do what you need to do. So go get into social media, get into social media groups and start responding and start doing some things. Now, talking about social media, I am big on video. It's what really creates a no like, and trust. So I would start doing more and more video. Okay, in social media, here's what you need to do is pay attention to who is liking your posts and who's making comments. Because likely they can be your coaching clients. They're listening to you. They're following you. They're responding to you. They want to learn more about what's going on. The fourth one is use your content as bait. Now, I, people say, what are you talking about? Well, one, have a call to action when you do things. But two, you need to go discover. Really search out the problems your target market's going through doesn't matter what it is. We're all going through some different things right now. You need to go through and discover what the heck those problems are and list them out. Go see if you can find 10 problems, right? One is it doesn't matter what it is. They don't have enough time to do what they want to do. Usually they don't have enough money. If it's in business, they don't like in, in my field, coaching coaches and course creators, entrepreneurs, they don't know what to do next. They don't know how to get started. They say they aren't techy enough. Well, see, I create content around the problems. And I usually try to tell stories because stories sell. I'll have a hook, you know, because I want to stop the scroll, whether it's me with a picture waving my hands or a video or something. And then what I'll do, I'll tell them a story about what, like, man, when I first got started, I was a teacher. I had no clue how to do any technical stuff. Video, I didn't know how to do video. And then what I did was I actually went into a course, a free course, and learned how to do video. 
And that's what turned me around is how I could actually start using it. I start telling the story. And that's what it is. And at the end of the story, you just have a call to action. Now, here is the best one. The best tip of all is set up a discovery call. Ask them. If, you're, if people are making comments and you're in their DMs, hey, you want to jump on a call? See if this makes sense to you? And everybody's going to say that they don't want to be sold. Well, don't sell. Use the call to get to know them. And then use the call actually to coach. Ask them some great questions. The biggest thing about the call is most coaches, when they get in, want to talk. Don't talk. Learn to listen and ask questions. One question you can ask is, where do you want to be in three years? What's your goal? Where do you want your business to be, your life to be in three years? And listen to what they're saying. And ask them again, well, why is that? And keep trying to draw them up. But here's what's going to happen. You end up coaching in the first call. And then when you get done, you just ask them a simple question. Hey, did you get any value from that? Would you like to set up this program with you and set them up in your coaching program? So I hope you got value from that. If you're listening on my podcast, please follow. Do a review on iTunes. Share it with your friends. If you're on YouTube, do the same thing. Subscribe. Hit that notification button. Leave me a comment, right? If you're a coach, when do you want to get your first client? Hey, I have a link down below to set up a free call. And all it is is a little get together call and see if things will work together and just kind of do that. So it's marknelsononline.com call, excuse me, marknelsononline.com forward slash call. Just set it up and let's get this thing rocking for you. Hey, you all take care. We will speak again soon.